I was 139.6 and I just wanted to talk for a minute about being a pound away from goal. Wow, it's been a journey and I remember when Cheryl from Bitch Cakes was um, she was like one Weight Watchers way in away from her goal and I just remember being so excited for her and yet I was kind of jealous because I wanted to be a pound away from goal too and now here I am and it is an amazing feeling um I am I just, I'm kind of in disbelief because all of this work, everything that I've done over the last um, almost four years, it's all finally come down to one pound. <laughs> and it's an amazing feeling. It really is. Um, oh, I want to talk about real quick my measurements. Um, because I had mentioned on Facebook the other day that um, about the total number of inches that I have lost. Um, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A total of 10 different places where I measured from the very beginning. Um, well, technically it was after I had lost like my first 16 pounds was when I was finally brave enough to do my first measurements. And um, I, from that point, from the measurements that I took in January of 2009 until the measurements that I took this weekend, I have lost a total of 90.75 inches over my whole body. Um, so that's seven and a half feet of me that has disappeared. <laughs> that is insane. Um, I know that some people were asking about um, some of the, the bigger measurements. Um, I My waist went from the first measurement that I had, which was 45.5 inches. Um, my current waist is down to a 32. And to be really honest, a lot of that <laughs> is... Um, mushy tummy and um, excess skin and I don't have a lot it's just it's a little bit but it's very very pliable and um, my tummy is not the prettiest tummy but it is my tummy and I am really proud of the tummy that it has become um, my hips went from uh, 51.5 inches down to right now they're at a 38 so and I am fitting into um, anywhere from a size 4 to a size 8 in jeans um, it really just depends on the cut of the jeans um, and if I get the low rise ones I have to go a bigger size up because of um, because of my extra skin and my tummy <laughs> So, um, but the measurement that excited me the most, and it's probably one of the smallest ones, was that my upper arm went from being 16 inches in diameter to a size, or to 12 inches in diameter. And I will show you, this is my arm. Yeah. I still have, like, the, the jigglies down here, but I'm always going to have that. But look at that. Bam! Yeah! So that's kind of cool. Oh, and look at this. I have bones here. I didn't even know. I didn't know that there were bones. Like right here. I, 
<laughs> my whole life I've never I never was able to feel that there was like anything here but um but yeah now I do and I feel like I've got this really awesome like shoulder area I'm very proud of proud of my shoulders now so anyway um so one pound from goal and it's it's just outstanding um to think that to think that I've gone so far with this and um I've had ups and downs and I've had my plateaus and um it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would but I wouldn't trade how I did it at all because for me this journey was not just about losing the weight and I know I harp on this a lot um in my writing but for me it was about the emotional healing that has come because I um because I worked on my weight and the reasons why I eat and um because you can lose weight really easy I mean all you have to do is just cut out like watch your portion sizes cut out some of the junk food that you eat and take a walk that's all you have to do to lose weight but the trick is really keeping the weight off and because I took the time to really delve into the emotional healing um, I'm not worried that I'll gain a bunch of weight back. Um, I might if, not if, when, when we eventually um, have more babies, but um, I'm not worried about being able to lose that round of baby weight either because I know the principles and I know that my relationship with food is forever changed. Um, so I just wanted to just take a moment and talk to you guys for just a minute and let you know that um, there will probably be a few more uh, video installments of my blog um, because once I do finally hit 138, ah, it's, I just, I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do, but I will make sure that, um, that I share that moment with you, that, that realization. Um, although it's tricky because I weigh naked and so I'm gonna have to figure out <laughs> out all the camera so that I'm not indecently exposing myself so um, it'll be it's gonna be a fun week and um, I'm pretty sure that it will happen this week but if it doesn't that's okay um, my body is uh, quite it's it's just quite happy it's my body doesn't feel the stress or the pressure that it used to and it works so much better and I feel so much better about myself and I am so confident in who I am and what I can accomplish and um, I'm just really looking forward to um, being able to share that with other people um, for the rest of my life and to tell them that as long as you believe in yourself and you don't give up, anything is possible, even losing 100 pounds. So, okay, that's it. I will let you go, and have a wonderful day, and you'll be hearing from me really soon. All right, bye.